Now that we've looked at the parts, let's take a look at the sequence of motion. And we'll start with the evaluation of the starting position. Starting with the stance, the right foot and the club face will be at right angles to the target. The left foot is somewhat open to the target. The alignment through the heels goes directly to the target. We want to take a look at our posture. You'll have a natural flex in the legs, a slight bend from the waist to allow the arms to hang in a natural extension. We have the formation of the grip, and basically what we want is the hands opposing in a nice compact grip with the hands opposite the club head. The waggle is a movement in readiness to activate the swing motion. It's a tension release. Make sure the waggle is in the same plane as the swing. When you look at the loading of the golf swing, it may appear that the club head is traveling first, followed by the hands, the shoulders, hips, knees, and finally the left foot. In reality, everything is moving in unison. It just so happens that the club head is traveling a greater distance than the hand, the shoulder, the hips, the knees, and the left foot. Everything is moving in unison. However, when we get to the unloading, there is an absolute sequence. The only reason the club head is changing direction is because of the golfer's intent to transfer weight to the finishing position. So the sequence is, the first thing to stabilize is the left foot, then the left knee, then the hips, shoulders, arms, hands, and finally the club head. The finish is a position of full height with the entire body facing the target, totally in balance on the left foot. Hands and wrists have remained passive, which allows you to maintain the blade angle throughout the swing. Most of you are used to taking a very good look at your starting position, which gives you the chance to create the desired result. The evaluation of the finishing position is just as important. It assures the result. 